Hey guys, so today I thought I'd talk about my favorite cleansing balms, best and worst cleansing balms, and I have a whole lot of them, and a pretty uh, strong preference on what I use for cleansing, so um, I really prefer fragrance-free. Some of these are fragrance-free, some of them are not, so anyway, let me start off the list with the Ordinary Squalane Cleanser. I really like this one. Now it comes in a larger size. It's really affordable. There's no fragrance in it. It works just like a cleansing balm. Rinses pretty clean. Does a pretty darn good job removing most things. And a lot of times when I use this, I don't even need to necessarily use a second cleanser if I don't want to. So this one is wonderful. Um, next up, we've got the Paula's Choice Omega Complex Cleansing Balm. This one's nice. I like also that it's in a tube. You can leave it in your bathtub area. A lot of these come in jars. Most of these come in jars, which I don't love, especially if you want to use it in the shower and things like that. But this one does a pretty good job. If you have very stingy, waterproof mascara, things like that, it does a pretty good job. You will still, with this one, most of the time want to use a second cleanser, but this one works nicely. And the other thing with this, you can use it on wet or dry skin. So if you want to remove stubborn makeup, use it on dry skin. If you just want a light cleanse, you can use it on wet skin if you don't have too stubborn makeup or things like that on it. So that one is really nice for that reason. Next up, we've got the Biosan Squalane and Elderberry Jelly Cleanser. Uh, this one you can also use for damp skin or dry skin, which is similar to the Paula's Choice. This one's a little bit more pricey, but I do like it. And you know what? On days I want to take a shower, I apply a layer of this on my skin, almost like a mask, go into the shower, and then rinse it off after I shampoo my hair. So actually you can do that with all of these, but that's how I typically use that one. Okay, next up, we've got the Good Molecules Instant Cleansing Balm. This one is really nice. This one does, in my opinion, require a second cleanse afterwards, uh, but it is really nice. Uh, it does a pretty good job, and it's pretty darn affordable as well. Smooths over skin really easily, uh, but generally requires a second step. Um, okay, next up, Pharmacy has, I think, three versions of this now. This is the cherry version. I tried the initial version. They also now have a fragrance-free version, the all green clean. So if you can get the fragrance-free version, that is my preference. I have went through several jars of the fragrance version, and it does a pretty darn good job. And this one, I never really necessarily felt like I had to use a second step cleanser after using this one. It does a really good job. But if you can get the fragrance-free version, that's the direction you should go, especially if you have sensitive skin. But now they've got it in every fragrance, so... Okay, next up, we've got the Glow Recipe Papaya Sorbet Cleansing Balm. This one, a little bit more pricey, uh, but I do like it. It does a pretty good job removing most things, and it really does a nice job smoothing over skin. I don't feel like it requires any excessive force. Uh, a couple of these that I really disliked required a lot of force on your skin, which I didn't like. And this one, it's a little pricey, but it still does a really good job, so I'll keep that one in mind. Okay, next up we've got Vanilla. They, so they've got different versions. Uh, this is the version I've tried. I actually picked up a little set where they have one of each of theirs. I think they have a fragrance-free version somewhere in there. This one was the one I had the best luck with. Um, it does contain a little bit of fragrance, so keep that in mind. But I think, is it their yellow version that doesn't have fragrance in it? I'm not sure. But the nice thing is it smooths really easily, rinses really clean, no residue, does a really good job removing makeup and sunscreen and things like that, and rinses pretty darn clean where I don't necessarily feel like I need to use a second step uh, when I use this one. Okay, next up, this one's pretty pricey as well. Uh, the Sunday Riley Blue Moon Cleansing Balm. It contains citrus oil, so be aware of that. I like it. It does a really good job. I don't necessarily feel like when I use this, I need to use a second step, uh, but with the price... I should have had it in the more expensive ones because I have a list. Good, but too expensive. This one probably should be in there, but anyway. Okay, next up, uh, the Hand Skin Pore Cleansing Balm with PHA. It comes in an orange tub. It also contains citrus oil or lavender oil. I really like that. I went through it really quickly. Really enjoyed it. Don't have it here because I finished it really fast. I should also mention the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Makeup Cleansing Balm is wonderful. Also one of my favorites. Finished it, again, really too fast. But, okay. Next up, we've got the Beauty of Joseon Radiance Cleansing Balm. It is at Yes Style. I'll link to it below. It is really wonderful. I think they re uh, refor reformulated it recently to remove fragrance from it. So keep that in mind. But this one also works really well. I do feel like it requires a second cleansing step 
some of these just rinse really clean with no residue some of them not so much but this one's really nice and uh, pretty affordable uh, okay next up the inky list oat cleansing balm this one is strange because they recommend gently massage a small amount onto dampen face and neck personally i highly disagree if you apply this to dampen face and neck it doesn't do much cleansing at all and it will require a second step if you apply this to your skin while it's dry it does a much better job removing makeup and things like that it will require a second step because it leaves a residue but if you do it that way it works better and you can leave it on for 10 minutes as a nourishing face mask at first i hated this one but uh when i changed how i used it i ended up liking it a little bit more so and it's also really affordable so um okay so the ones i didn't love the clinique take the day off uh, balm it is a huge favorite for a lot of people what i did not like about it was the formula somehow always infiltrated into my eyes and left me with blurry vision for 20 or 30 minutes. A lot of people love it. I just didn't like it for that single reason. Um, another one I did not like, the Youth to the People Super Berry Cleansing Balm. I hated this one. I hated it. It is tough to spread. It leaves a waxy residue. It doesn't emulsify very well, and it is very expensive, and it is very tough, and, and it crumbles too. And they don't even include a little spatula, which is irritating because it requires a spatula. I hate this one a lot. I would not not recommend it. And it's interesting, if you look at the reviews on Sephora, the initial reviews of it were great when it was free products for reviews, like influencer type things. But now as people buying it themselves, the reviews are not spectacular. So I hate this one. I do not recommend it at all. Um, the other one I didn't love, the Indeed Labs Watermelon Cleansing Balm. This one, uh, it was thick. It doesn't emulsify easily. It definitely requires a second step cleanser after and a very thorough second step cleanser because of the residue it leaves. I did not love this one. It has a strong watermelon scent to it as well. And the other one I didn't like, the I'm From Fig Cleansing Balm. This one is too scrubby. It can scratch your skin. It is not great around the eye area. I did not love this one. And I probably, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I just hated it. So, there we go. A uh, couple that are good but expensive, where the Sunday Rally probably should be, the Then I Met You Living Cleansing Balm. It does a good job. It really does a nice job removing uh, makeup, sunscreen, things like that. It's a little bit of fragrance in it, but it's very expensive. Uh, the Drunk Elephant Slay Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm. This one I liked, but it's so expensive. And for something that's going down the drain anyway, I just don't think you need to spend a ton of money on something when it's going to get rinsed off anyway. And then I have a few runners up. A lot of runners up. So I'm just going to list them. Uh, the Holly Frog Kissimmee Vitamin F Cleansing Balm. I think they recently formulated this slightly. Uh, the Star Skin Celery Juice Cleansing Balm. Uh, those are both decent, but they're runners up. Uh, the Ciate Makeup Melter Cleansing Balm. This one is nice. It requires a second step cleanser. Uh, okay, then we've got the Juno Clean 10 Cleansing Balm. Uh, I like this one. It contains a small amount of orange peel oil. So keep that one in mind. Uh, the Hymish All Clean. This one, again, contains bergamot oil. The Juvia's Place Melted Off Cleansing Balm. This one contains, again, a little bit of fragrance, but I do like it. Uh, the Bloom Effects Tulip cleansing balm royal cleansing jelly i like this one it's a good runner up but it's also pricey the myzen sicularonic cleansing balm also contains some fragrance so i didn't love it and another thing that seems to work well for a lot of people literally just coconut this kopari coconut melt off balm does a good job for a lot of people but if you don't have acne prone skin keep that in mind if you have very acne prone skin i probably wouldn't recommend this one but for a lot of people this one will work just fine so these are my cleansing balm favorites and worsts. So anyway, interesting hearing from you guys what your favorites are. Leave a comment or if you use a cleansing oil. I don't know. Maybe I'll do cleansing oil next. So anyway, thank you guys so much and I will see you more tomorrow. Bye guys.